thanks you so much for tuning in to this channel and um, I truly thank you for your support my channel is really growing at a very fast pace because of you and uh, I keep counting on you on every content I'm doing and I remember since I started the channel for you guys uh, last uh, two years uh, it's really uh, motivating me and I uh, continue to expect your support and thank you so much. So if you are new to this channel today, uh, kindly consider to subscribe, share and like. And uh, today I just wanted to do a very, very, very important topic. It's about the visitors who come to the United States. And as you always know, this is the land of opportunity. So there must be a reason why you leave your country, come to the United States to look for green pastures, of course. So without further ado, uh, let's get started, guys. Okay, uh, most people have a dream and a passion of coming to the United States, but uh, let me tell you how you can easily uh, make ends meet, and especially if you are looking for a job and employment to do uh, the first year you enter the United States. This is very, very, very uh, critical and very crucial that um, you take uh, employment very serious. Everything you do in the United States, there are a lot of bills to pay. Everywhere you go, you have to spend money and nobody can give you money for free. So the first week you uh, enter the United States, you need to put yourself together and uh, make sure you have your social security number. That's most important, the one you're going to use. Everywhere you go for interview, anything, you will be known by a social security number, which is given by the social security administration. Wherever state you are, there is in every state there is an office which issues that card. If you win a green card or you came um, with other means, but you are authorized to work in the United States uh, legally, you are entitled to get a job. So today I'm going to tell you some of the jobs which are very, very easy to get, where you can make a lot of money, tons of money, and, you know, do some development back at home if you want to build a home, if you want to buy land at home. If you want to send school fees to go and educate your, um, your siblings. And if you want to invest in the United States too, buy like a home, you know, start some other small, small business. Uh, this is the way to go. So guys, so the first thing when you land your visitor in the United States, put your paperwork uh, together. And the first week, be very proactive. The, 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 the first place to start is to look for a job which is within, uh, uh, let's say, a radius of 10 miles from where you reside. The reasons I'm saying you look for a job which is within where you live is because of the transportation services. Uh, when you enter the United States, you know, you don't have money, you don't have means of transportation. You don't want to be relying on an Uber. You don't want to be relying on a taxi service. You don't want to be calling friends to take you to a job or come back. So what you do, do a research around the zip code where you live and see what kind of business or what kind of jobs you will be able uh, to get. Uh, it would make sense to, uh, if you live within uh, 10 miles and you want to find 
jobs which are like 100 miles or 50 miles. That's impossible. So do a research and find some of the jobs which are close to where you live. And once you identify those jobs and uh, figure out what's your passion. If you came from Africa or another country with green card and uh, you have a degree, you have a PhD, the, by the time you enter the United States, you forget about those uh, certifications. They will come later. But if you want to get quick money, you have to do any other jobs which is available. And I'm going to give some of the examples of the jobs you will find quickly and work and get, get paid. But if you are too big, you know, if you don't like, like, oh, I can't do this job, you don't have to choose. And if you are open to, you know, you want to make uh, quick money, then you have to look at uh, many options. Uh, for example, the, in every state where you live, uh, uh, people live around, there are jobs, for example, grocery stores. For example, we have a Walmart, we have Costco, uh, we have Save a Lot, and other local uh, grocery stores. You can walk to the store and, uh, you know, ask to see a hiring manager. Tell them, you know, you are authorized to work in the United States and uh, you are looking for a job where that you can work and they will tell you, you know, what shifts they have available. Tell them when you are available and tell them how many hours you, you want to work. So those jobs are in grocery stores like Walmart. You can also find some other jobs which are readily, you know, hiring. And actually, by the, the way, some of them, they put uh, signs, posts everywhere, hiring. They even put the minimum wage, how much they're hiring, even $15 an hour, $12 an hour. Uh, so the jobs are right there. You don't have to go anywhere to, you know, to look for them. The only thing is, like, you have to be proactive. Go out there, uh, extra mile, go extra mile and find those jobs instead of sitting, you know, in the house waiting for somebody to uh, give you a job. So the restaurants, there are big restaurants like uh, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, they have like Burger King. Uh, they have very big restaurants where you can walk in and they need people. Uh, they don't require any, uh, you know, any, any, any skills. So if you are able to perform those tasks, uh, you can go, for example, washing dishes. They pay decent money. Uh, you can go and uh, help, you know, uh, in the uh, uh, kitchen to cook or to become a server. You go take the food, you know, once people have eaten and, you know, you go, you, you take the food and, uh, you know, take the orders. Those are the jobs available. And by the way, some of the jobs, you know, you, you, you can uh, find jobs which are very, very close. You can even walk instead of uh, waiting for somebody to tell to take you. You can walk if the, the weather is good, not unless uh, you come in the winter. Like this time, it's when you want to need uh, to bundle up, need a, a vehicle and, uh, you know, get to job. But when it is like summertime, you can find uh, jobs which are very close. You can walk, save some money, you know, instead of paying the Uber and make a lot of money. And also, there are places, the other places where you can find a job easily is warehouses. We have Amazon. Amazon is a very big company here in the United States. And it hires a lot of things. So what they do is they expedite that. Uh, packages you if you don't want to work inside a warehouse whereby for example you do the parking or you transport some things within the the, the warehouse uh, they're gonna when they hire you they're gonna put you in a section whereby they can tell you okay to stack some of the goods uh, the box them open the boxes from the pallets uh, put them somewhere, 
you know, assign you some tasks and they pay decent money. They have shifts, like uh, morning shifts, early morning, evening shift, and at night. So you have options. You are not like uh, locked in, like you have to do this shift. They have open. So if you go to school during the day and in the evening you don't have anything to do, you can do uh, those jobs. So those are warehouses. We have Amazon. Another big warehouse where you can work is the UPS, the United Postal Service. You can go there and uh, arrange mail. They have packages coming in. For example, the time I'm doing this uh, video is uh, nearing the Christmas and uh, they need a lot of manpower. So you go there and sort out the mail and uh, get paid. If you wanted to work overtime, uh, you talk to your supervisor, your manager, and arrange the hours. And uh, you can work and uh, get paid. Now, another big places you can go to is, um, you know, like car lots. In some other car lots, I know there's another company called uh, CarMax. It is Toyota. All types of vehicles. You, what you do, you watch, go there and ask them, you know, what you are capable of doing and what they have. And for example, you can tell them if they need somebody who is uh, serving as uh, before the vehicles are being sold, they need somebody to drive the vehicles around to bring the vehicles to the customer to inspect and prep those vehicles, put them ready for, you know, for sale. And once they are sell, the customer buys and you kind of prep those vehicles, prepare them and uh, get ready for the customer. You know, once they finish the sell, you take them, you run them through a car wash and uh, they come out. Personally, I've done that job. You know, it's a very good job. It's decent and it has uh, flexible working hours. For example, if you don't have classes and you are sitting home during weekend, you just go there and uh, uh, drive those vehicles around and customers come in, you run through the car wash and, you know, shine them very nice and give them them. And some of them, they might even, uh, you know, as a, si a sign of appreciation, they can give you a tip, it's allowed. So once they give you a tip, you know, that's a kind of appreciation. It's a way to make extra money. So use every kind of opportunity you can get uh, while it is existing. And also the parking uh, garage. Some of the people you can find some, uh, um, if you live close to downtown, uh, big cities, you can look around and find which garage because people drive and they just go, they don't have time. They leave their vehicles there. Somebody has to take those vehicles to go and park for them, uh, stay with the keys. And then when they get off from work, you have to bring the vehicle to the front of the parking garage and give them. And uh, go to the hotels, the big hotels. They need uh, people housekeeping. They be, need people who work in the front when they, uh, people come and they want to book the hotels. You can do those jobs. They want people who can show visitors around. For example, Walmart, they help people. You don't do anything. You just go and... Uh, uh, stay in the front door, uh, customers are coming in, and uh, if you have a passion of talking to people, you go talk to them, uh, greet them, you know, smile to them, and, uh, you know, they, they, they feel that they are welcome to come and do business there. So if you have those skills and you, have, you don't have to have like a degree or something to do that or a certification, so those are the jobs which are uh, readily available, uh, which you can do and make some, uh, you know, some decent money. And also, <clears throat> you need to open up, you know, talk to as many groups as possible. If there's like, for example, a Kenyan community, I'll come from Kenya, I'm using that example. Kenyan community WhatsApp group or Facebook, you know, a lot of bunch of Kenyans, they have you know, talk to those people in those groups, ask questions, open up. 
tell them, you know, I'm a, a new person who came from uh, this country and I'm looking for an opportunity in the IT sector. I'm looking for an opportunity in the trucking industry. In the United States, there are so many companies who need a lot of drivers, you know, to drive them around over the road uh, within the zip code where you live. They can hook you up. So what I'm trying to say is that you have to, you know, to network. You have to network. You have to ask questions. You have to say uh, what you need if you want to make a quick man. There are jobs out there. Uh, they, they let nobody lie to you that uh, there are no jobs. There are jobs, but if you are willing to do, you have to come out and uh, show that you you wanna you wanna do them and uh, participate in the community uh, community services you know if there are people around your community you wanna you know go around and uh, talk to them and find out like what do people who look or live around what do they do for example if you walk around you know some neighborhoods you will find landscaping that's a very good opportunity i have a friend who does uh, landscaping snow removal he is doing very nice and that those are some of the jobs which do not require a lot of skills all you need is equipment for example the snow blower you need a truck and uh, you need a lawnmower you can start with a very small lawnmower and go and talk out to neighbors around tell them you know you care about the environment you would like to see a clean environment and you would like to, you know, take care of the grass, take care of the lawn and, uh, you know, clean si sidewalks. So for these jobs, they, you know, they pay, they pay very decent. And um, so if you are not somebody who is not very, 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 very picky, uh, there will be a lot of opportunities for you guys out there. And uh, that's why I wanted to do this video. I know I have a lot of supporters who applied for green card lottery, and some of them are going to be lucky enough to uh, come to the United States. And those are some of the things, uh, actually, you know, since we have experiences, those are some of the things we have to open out and talk to you guys. And um, if I know something, I like, uh, you know, sharing that thing and uh, telling people because if you don't share these ideas nobody's gonna know them and uh, we have a platform here we have youtube here which actually you can sit down like i'm sitting and uh, you know air your views talk to people you know make a difference uh, in a community so i'm uh, as well using this platform to talk to you know, our brothers and sisters out there and tell them like this is the way things are supposed to be done and uh, if there are jobs around you know they need somebody to come and do those jobs and uh, you know open up and let me know what you think guys so let me know below this video and um, if you have a question or anything and if you want me to do many of videos like this let me hear your opinion and uh, target those uh, jobs which are easily available and those ones you don't have to drive too far so you can save everybody in this country you know they come from wherever they come they have their own stories and everybody very pretty sure that they are looking for money to do something and that's the reason reason why you came here make some money if you plan to go back to your country to help you know people there that's perfectly fine and uh, so let me know what what you think and uh, if you know somebody who might benefit from this video uh, let me know and if you haven't subscribed please uh, do subscribe and um, uh, turn your notification on because i usually do videos like this every week if i see something you know i know it's gonna impact somebody in the in the society i just come out and do the video and uh, tell people out there
So thank you so much. And uh, I hope you guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.